the components which are used in this project are arduino uno ultrasonic sensor servo motor bluetooth control from android 1602 lcd laser light buzzer beep breadboard and connecting connecting connections connecting servo motor to arduino red to 5 volt black to ground connecting servo motor pins on breadboard red to 5 volt black to ground yellow to pin 12 of arduino ultrasonic pins to arduino vcci to 5 volt ground to ground trigger pin to pin 10 and echo to pin 11 of arduino we have arduino uno and we connect the scotch chip on it so it can be fixed on the breadboard easily and don't move while working on it so we connect it and glue up the servo motor head to fix up the ultrasonic sensor on it so we want that it just move when we upload in a code at 180 degree and uh, scotch tape is also attached with the servo motor so it fixed on the breadboard now it's time to connect between the servo motor and arduino we connect the 5 volt vcc and uh, ground to the breadboard so it's maybe common and give a 5 cc volt to servo motor and black to the ground and uh, the next pin is going to is yellow and is going to pin number 12 of arduino uno as you can see now connect the ultrasonic sensor give it 5 volt from arduino and ground and pin number 10 of the trig pin of the ultrasonic sensor and eco pin is going to connect to pin number 11 of arduino uno so we connect it Now it's our uh, ultrasonic sensor and Arduino is complete. Arduino code in next session. Uh, now we have breadboard, Arduino and uh, LCD. We connect the LCD pins on the breadboard and uh, potentiometer of 10 kilo ohm on the breadboard connected. Now we connect the wires with the Arduino as shown in the circuit diagram before. So we do that. We connect the VSS of LCD with the ground of Arduino and VCC is going to the 5 volt from the Arduino Uno. And uh, next is contrast pin is going to the uh, potentiometer because we control the contrast using the potentiometer. Next pin is going to RS pin, select register pin of the pin number 11 of Arduino Uno. And next pin is a read write pin is going to the ground. And next pin is going to the 10 of our pin number Arduino Uno. And next is next pin is going to the backlight of the uh, LCD. So it uh, looking awesome when you show something on the LCD. It show the backlight and uh, connect it to the. Next is the data transfer pins connected uh, line by line to the Arduino. And we connect the four pins. D7, D6, D5, and D4 to Arduino Uno, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Next is going to the VCC to potentiometer, and next is going to the ground of potentiometer. So our connection is almost done, and we go VCC, and the usual bag light is on, and it looks prettier than before. We connect the Bluetooth and LCD with the same Arduino that uh, we used with the ultrasonic sensor and a servo motor and uh, it looks pretty yes, because we connect the Bluetooth and uh, LCD with the Arduino.
now it's called uploading session we open the arduino ide to upload the code on arduino uno it's take some time so it's open and we open the control system project uh, upload folder and uh, upload the server.h library and liquid crystal .h then select the pins of liquid crystal we used from arduino uno select the trick pin as a 9 and echo pin as a 10 declare some variables like distance cm durations to ultrasonic sensor declare the lcd dot h and echo pins then starts our loop of 180 degree to move the servo motor to 180 degree ultrasonic sensor move in the node 360 degree it's moving 180 degree so it selects 180 degree 180 degree rotation and then come back to its original position if the distance of the hurdle is less than 256 then it will detect the radar tracking and major alert show and uh, the distance of the object on the lcd screen and uh, lcd dot print it will print when the no hurdle is detected area is cleared radar servo and uh, it will come back to 180 degree to 0 degree when it completes rotation of 180 degree and uh, no one detected its uh, clear area is cleared so we compile the project and uh, upload on the arduino uno so it takes some time so we will wait it's 80 percent complete and it takes some time and finally it's done now we make android app on uh, mit app inventor uh, it's uh, useful to make the app to control our bluetooth module hc05 with this android app so first we save it and uh, upload the background image on this app so we upload it and okay it's upload the background image we remove some features it to its like proprietous and we upload the buttons on it four buttons is here we use first button to start the RV as a servo motor uh, as ultrasonic sensor and uh, once is stop and uh, other is tracking and attacking of the radar and we upload the four buttons here give us some features some colors so it looks beautiful because it's our project of control system <laughs> So we done it and we give some features of it, uh, it will some layouts and give its colors of green and uh, on your on your own choice and give it some names like start radar, stop radar, tracking and attacking, give it some font color it's tracking radar use for track the radar button with the tracking mode next is attacking mode and uh, Next is stop radar, it will stop the working of the radar using Bluetooth signals. Give it some name like control system radar project and some other as your own choice. So I name it radar control app and give it some beautiful colors as my own choice. Now it's time to connect the Bluetooth and we go to connectivity. Click on the connectivity and pick up the Bluetooth server. 
so it will give a bluetooth and pick up the list speaker the list speaker of the data connected devices at that time we show it in the working of the radar so name it's bluetooth and give it some apparently color of blue open the block session here we will do a coding first we pick up list speaker up before list speaker up and after list speaker up before list speaker up we just uh, pick up the addresses and numbers addresses and names of the bluetooth clients as used at the time so we done the programming on it and download it uh, on your computer for uh, android it saved them some time 20 percent 95 and completely done so open in your android app finally the waiting time is over and we present the working of radar open the android app and click on bluetooth and uh, select the hc05 of many of the bluetooth network and uh, it show blinking mean it's connected successfully select the start radar button on the android app it uh, does only sensor move with the servo motor and when we click on the stop button it stops its reservation and it's a radar complete refinery version you're used using the screen on lcd in the down is a ultrasonic sensor and a laptop screen when we take a harder in front of it it shows the distance eight centi millimeter on the lcd screen and radar range on a laptop screen we take a something better more and we take a hand in front of it it gives six centimeter distance and a radar screen hi i am a vessel now it's my turn I will tell you the application of this uh, control system radar project. It is used in military remote, things, remote sensing, air traffic control, law enforcement and highway security, aircraft safety and navigation, ship safety, space and many other applications. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button.